Hi, my character experts. I know that we have been learning about so many characters this week. So we learned about the three different types of characters. They're people, animals, and creatures. So, and we read a book with people as characters in it. We read another book about um, Nerdy Birdie and all the animals in that book. And today we're going to do the final category of our tree map, which is creatures. Now I have a fun story to share with you. I'm sure that some of you have played Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot. This book is called The Legend of Rock, Paper, and Scissors. So just looking at this cover, I see text and pictures that tell me who three of the characters are going to be. Here's Rock, Paper, and Scissors. Now, they are items that we see, but we call them creatures because when you are walking around, I don't think you find any scissors with eyeballs, right? Nope. So we call them creatures. So even though they're things that we normally see, they're normally not walking and talking. All right. The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors. Um... And it's by the author who wrote The Days the Crayons Quit by Drew DeWalt. And the pictures are by Adam Rex. Long ago, an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of the Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land. But he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest of over by the tire swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man! I will pinch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior. It's another creature. Rock versus the clothespin. Rock is victorious. That means he won. Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mis... mis Mystical Tower of Grandma's Favorite Apricot Tree. There he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. Another creature or character. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. Rock versus Apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Rock is victorious. Ugh, I'm smushed. And yet smushing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of the backyard, still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of Mom's home office, a lonely and windswept desk mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle. And his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad. Because no one could outwit him. That means they couldn't outsmart him. He set out across the Dex Mountain to find his match. There he met a large and square monster. I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my furry giant butt monster. P 
paper versus computer printer. No! Not a paper jam! Paper is victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain Paper climbed down to the pit of the office trash bin where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in the land. The half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ugh. Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah! Foul wizard! He's blotted out the sun! Run for your lives, lassies! Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's home office. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of the Jump Drawer, there lived a great warrior. They called her Scissors, and she was the fastest blade in all of the land. She, too, was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round months monstrosity it's tape. I will battle you and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Mm. Scissors versus roll of tape. Scissors is victorious. Scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the fridge waste of refrigerator slash freezer. There she met her most fearsome adversities yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen breaded chicken. We have those at my house. Dinosaurs, chicken nuggets. I have come from the far reaches of the kitchen to battle you. Oh, bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. Bow before I child, pleasing shapes and flavors. Sword master, no one can resist her crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets. Dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets win? No, wait, no, they don't. Scissors is victorious again. Am I so good that not even dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets can be can beat me and so scissors like rock and paper before her travel beyond her own kingdom seeking out a challenger who was her equal then one day in the great cavern of the two car garage rock and scissors came face to face I hope you're wearing your battle pants, rock warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you, then yes, I am wearing my battle pants. Weird scissory one. Rock versus scissors. An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, Scissors, for I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. What beats a rock? Hi there! Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock! Versus paper. This is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning, oh great knight of paper. That's fine for you, but it looks as though no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper. You beat me. 
looks like he's smiling. And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became fast friends. Finally, they had each met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on at, to this very day. That is why children around the world, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing rock, paper, scissors. The end. Isn't that a fun book? I have a feeling we have all played rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So today in our notebook, we're going back to our tree map and we have a drawing and a label for people already. A drawing for an animal and a label too. Today I want you to take one of the creatures from the book we read, The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors. And I want you to pick one creature, draw the creature, and label it. Save this because tomorrow you're going to use it for your learning. But by the end of today, you'll have a complete thinking map, a complete tree map in your notebook. Don't forget, when you're done, close it and put it in a safe spot so it stays nice and neat. Okay? Have fun!